In this video, we're gonna be covering what causes the knees bowing in in the overhead squat. So going back to our five-step system, step number one is looking at the joint mechanics. So in this situation, when knees buckle in, we're actually looking at the tibial external rotation and femoral, or the femur, internally rotating. So we're gonna get Sarah back here for a second. So in terms of knees bowing, what we're looking for here is anytime this knee is no longer tracking over what toe? The second toe. We gotta make sure that that knee is always tracking past the second toe. If at any time that knee starts to track in, it will be this category or be checking off the box of knees bowing in. So feet straight again, arms up, good. Slowly come down. Down, 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 down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Now come back up. And now I want you to exaggerate this a little bit more. So I want you to slowly come down the bottom, bow those knees in so they can see what we're looking for. So come down for me. And commonly what you see is right there where those knees start to buckle in. Now what will mo happen most of the time, you can stand up for a second. What will happen most of the time is that going down, you won't really notice a lot of that bowing. When you will notice it the most is between the eccentric and concentric portion of the exercise. So usually it's all the way down for me, please. Come down, all the way down. And where they transfer from eccentric to concentric, come up, is where you'll notice some of that bowing. This is what we need to look for. Thank you, sir. So anytime someone has the bowing of the knees, we got to look at, okay, so what's, what are the muscles responsible for tibia external rotation and femoral internal rotation? These are the, the muscles that are going to be tight and overactive. So in terms of tibial external rotation, like we talked about in our feet out video, those will be your TFL, vastus lateralis, and your IT band. Also the bicep femoris and the lateral gastroc. Now in terms of femoral or the femur internally rotating, because what happens is as we enter, as our knees buckle in, the femur will internally rotate. The muscles for that are TFL, our glute men and our anterior abductors. Once we've made our list here, our corrective protocol is going to cover releasing these muscles, mobilizing them, and then increasing their flexibility. Now, while we do that, we have to look at the opposing. So our list for the opposing now, for our tibial internal rotators, our gracilis, our semis, tendinosis, and membranosis, popliteus, medial gastroc, and the posterior tib. These will require activation. Now in terms of femoral external rotation, glute max and glute med. No, one, no one's ever complained and no one's had any issues with their glute max too strong. And when we go into the activation component and our exercise component, you'll see why there is such a huge component on keeping the glutes extremely strong. So this list here will go through our corrective, releasing, mobilization, flexibility. This list here will go through our movement patterns and activation.